Hello, everyone. Good evening. Happy June. <laughs> We're here. I'm Karen, and we are here at Sew and Save for Patchwork Party Live for June. Ah, how can it be June already? I think we missed a storm that was going to come through. It got really dark and looked like it was going to be stormy, and I don't know, either it went above us or below us. But we didn't get anything. Did you guys get anything? Our Milwaukee girls, our Illinois girls, getting a storm? We got nothing. <laughs> no rain, just a little humidity. So how are you all? I hope you had a fabulous Memorial Day. I hope you're getting projects done and some gardening done and all of those fun things because we've got some fun projects for you to do over the summer and lots of new things to show you tonight. So don't forget to like us and share us and comment so that your name can go in for a Sew and Save gift card. Those are always fun and we'll draw that at the end of the night. So uh, make sure that you're, um, you like us, share us, and um, most importantly, subscribe. Subscribe to our um, YouTube channel and subscribe and follow us on Facebook. Then you'll be up to date on all the fabulous things that are happening. Oh, Pat Kramer, she's up north. She's towards Milwaukee. Oh, Creekish. So they're getting a lot of rain. We didn't get Got just a little bit of rain. Not much. Primitive. Oh, really? Primitive gatherings, apparently. Way up in Oshkosh. Um, the um, Oshkosh area had to close because of the weather. So luckily, it's um, not here. So that's okay. Um, tonight I have lots of things to show you. We're getting, we're not getting tons of fabric in as, um, as the days go by, but it's starting to, to drizzle in a little bit. We're getting, um, some fall and Halloween and Christmas. I know you're ready for that. Um, at the end of July, we are going to have our holiday preview party. Sometimes we just do a Christmas preview party and then we do a fall and Halloween one separately but things are kind of coming in we'll get a Christmas um, line and then we'll get a Halloween line and then we'll get a Christmas line or we'll get a fall line so it's kind of coming in all together because usually what happens is they send the Christmas um, fabrics in April and May and usually we have them all by now but they're all they're just starting to drizzle in and then we'll get the fall and Halloween so on mark your calendars for this girls July 28th we are going to have our holiday preview party. So we're going to, so we're going to have everything, um, out for fall, Halloween, and Christmas. It'll be a spectacular. We'll have treats and snacks in the classroom and, um, goodie bags and probably some little demos and a special sale for everybody that comes into the shop. At six o'clock, we will have a Facebook live preview party for those who can't make it. So if you work and can't get here by 5.30 or you're far away, you can always watch us live. I'll do a couple demonstrations. Um, there'll be a sale for you that night on the, on the projects and things that we show. It'll be lots of fun. So again, that's going to be our holiday preview party, um, July 28th. And it'll be in store from 3 to 5.30 and then live at 6. So don't forget to join us for that. Remember that everything that I show tonight is 20% off in the Patchwork Party section of our website when you use PP20 as your code when you're checking out, and you'll get 20% off as, um, as you check out. So let's get started, and let's show you some new things. So I'm going to have Joe come up here and look at my, my board here. We have some of the cutest. We're going to start up here with this little Nomi guy. He is holding a seam ripper. How cute can that be? It's a pin. So on the back of it, I'll kind of flip it up. On the back of it, it has two little things to pin through fabric or onto a bag if you have onto your sewing bag. Super cute little Nomi with a seam ripper. Then we have what they're called cash. They're called, they're, um, they have like little um, charms. They, these can go onto zippers. They can go onto your um, scissors and things like that onto your little, if you've got the um, bags, the Lori Holt bags that we made, um, you can put them on those zippers. Super cute. 
super cute yeah onto your bicycle you can put on your bicycle bag <laughs> that you made so any of your little sewing bags that you made and um, things like that so really cute little pins and little charms to put on your accessories and I think Joe got a really good picture of all of those those are in the patchwork party section of our website 20% off for the next week um, I have these displayed on our 18 inch design board so this is an 18 inch by 18 inch board a really great size I use it for um, putting my um, a block down that I might be sewing together and I could move it over to my sewing machine and over to the ironing board and back and forth and it doesn't and it won't slide off so some of you have gotten different sizes this is the 18 inch people have been waiting for the 18 inch to come in because it's just a real it holds just about any block that you have so the 18 inch design board and I put this I put my design board onto my little um, book stand on my sewing table so I will slide that on there and then I can take a look I'll put my pattern up as I'm sewing so maybe I'll have a pattern and I'll set it right here so I'm not I'm always covering up my pattern with my fabric and then I'm digging through my fabric pieces to find my pattern so this way I have my pattern right here I can place my blocks on here as I'm working and move it to the ironing board and back to the sewing machine and they just they don't they don't the pattern pieces don't slide off and I'll probably show you that in a little while as we're as we're demonstrating something so 18 inch design board and our um, book stands are fabulous things to use and have on your table oops so we're gonna lose that that's okay so those are those then I'm going to kind of come around here and um, a few new things from Lori Holt uh, we have the new puzzle this is featuring her prim fabric and the prim is the next line of fabric to be coming out wait I said prim didn't I it's actually prairie I think it says that on there too prairie meadow and this is actually a quilt that she's doing and I thought I saw it I went oh I don't think so but then I saw a couple of the real blocks made up oh my god they're so pretty so now now I have to make it so I'll be making this so this is the puzzle this is what the quilt will actually look like when you make the quilt the fabric has not come out yet but you could start working on a puzzle and you know you can glue the puzzle when you're done and hang it up when you're when you're displaying your quilt on your bed so you'll see more about that quilt as time goes by and to go along with that she has a little good old-fashioned sewing tin and the sewing tin yeah go fetch you can keep buttons in here any of your little sewing goo gags really cute it also has the prairie fabric that she is um, going to be having coming out very soon and again this is another one of the blocks of the quilt so cute so we have these as well I feel like this may not have gotten onto the Patrick party section of the website so if you can kind of check that it's called Lori Holt Prairie enamel tin so I'm not sure that I, I hit the button on that so that is that over here hello hi everybody if you need me to repeat something if as we're going through you go wait a minute I didn't see that I came in late just holler and I will can show it to you again um, this is a new line of basics that we have it's from Riley Blake and they're called dappled dots and I think I'll pick up this one because it's easy to see it has like a little polka dot like almost like a little Swiss dot but the dots are kind of several different sizes and they're kind of just all splattered around the fabric so that I like to work with dots and I think dots are really fun and they add a lot of texture and interest to our quilts but I never like a dot that goes straight up and down that you have to cut and make sure it's straight this is so random that you don't have to worry about you know getting those dots all lined up straight so really fun beautiful colors and we'll be using these in oops, there oh girls did not put that on there very well okay but there they are <laughs> whoop there it is <laughs> so we have some fabulous 
colors down there. And so now you can see these colors even better. Look at the oranges and the golds and the yellows and the pinks. Really, really pretty colors. And we will have these all nicely displayed tomorrow when you come in. <laughs> or you can buy them online. Remember, PP20 gets you 20% off of these beautiful fabrics online. I'm going to walk around here. Since we're kind of talking about Lori Holt, I'm going to come over here and talk about the next quilt project that she is doing online. She has a block of the month. I, she's calling it a block of the month, a sew along, I think. She's calling it a sew along. And it's for the Farmhouse Star Quilt. And this is the pattern for it. And I kind of got a bigger picture and printed it out. The colors are not super fabulous and, you know, perfect, but you can kind of see the quilt in its entirety. It is, I believe, 76 by 76. So I'm going to make, I am so excited to make this. You know how I feel about stars. And you know how I feel about Lori Holt. So I have already watched, she's already got, I think, the first two. She's doing three videos on this quilt. And I've already figured out a faster and easier way to do this. So hang in there, girls, because... You need, first of all, this is the kit. So you will, in your kit, if you purchase a kit, will get um, 42 fat quarters of these beautiful, she's calling these B plaids. So you will get a fat quarter of each of the beautiful B plaids that she has. And they are all, as you can tell in the picture that I showed, just all scrappy and mixed up. Some of the stars are made with one color like of star points, others are made with a variety. Some are put into a circle, some are just in a square. Different sizes, super fun, and then just a scrappy inner border and a plain, kind of a plain outer border. And then around that, I'm gonna pick something and put uh, going around. So yeah, you can take a close up of these. And then these are the backgrounds because you're mixing up your backgrounds. So you get all of these beautiful backgrounds. I love these little ditzy stars. So those are gonna be in your star blocks with your star um, pieces. Very cool. Very cool. It's gonna be gorgeous. So I'm gonna work on this tomorrow. I'm gonna, I have in my head the faster, easier way to do it, but I haven't actually done it yet, so I can't show you tonight. Plus you will need, of course, she has the little templates that go along with this. There it is. It's kind of clear, so it's hard to see. So you have the center of your star and then star points that you will use and cut out, and those will be attached down here. So we're going we're gonna to come online and show you how to do this, and it's going to be awesome. It's going to be fun, and I figured out, like I said, a faster way to do it and an easier way to do it, and I think a way that's going to turn out a little bit nicer, um, but I have to do it first. So I will do this tomorrow, and then maybe I'll come online and do a, qu a quick video on how to do these um, because they're going to be really fun. So even if you have a bunch of scraps at home and you love the pattern, um, get the pattern and get the templates, and you could do this in red, white, and blue. Oh, so fun. So that's, that's my next big project. It's probably, I can't say that it'll be done in a month, but I'm going to give it a try. There's a lot of stars. Even for me, there's a lot of stars, and I love stars, but there's a lot of stars. But I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So little bit by little bit, I'll be working on that. That's going to be so much fun. Farmhouse stars. Cool. I think it's going to be so cool. Okay. Um, Doug Laco has come out with his new Tabletastic 3. I'm sure that you have um, probably seen this being pre-advertised and advertised. There's 20 more patterns for table runners and toppers. So it's not just table runners. I could, oh, hello, 100 people. Hello. Oh, so here's kind of a picture of some of the projects that are in there. So these are just uh, pieces of some of the um, table toppers and table runners. So you can kind of see that's on his first page. We have not, Joe's kind of getting it so he can get it in there. There you go. Um, so we have not made any of these. They have just come in. So we will be using some of our fall, some of our Halloween, some of our Christmas fabrics 
even probably some of our patriotic fabrics. I don't think there's anything else. No, there's nothing else on the other side. So these are the um, table toppers that are in here. Some of them are toppers. Some of them are runners. Um, I know that you are probably pretty familiar with Doug Laco. Many people are. And he has some really spectacular projects. So these um, books are just have just came in, and I've got quite a few of them. So in the Patchwork Party section of the website, 20% um, off. PP20 gets you um, that this book on sale all week. Another pattern, this, pat this book has been around for a little while, but okay, raise your hands. How many of you have a panel at home? How many of you have more than one panel at home? Okay, how many of you don't know what to do with that panel? Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, so here's just a really fun, great book with lots of great ideas. I'm not sure I can. I don't remember how many patterns are in here now of different things to do with those panels. And they're not just all like, you know, here's one great big panel and here's some stuff to do with. Sometimes we get these small panels and we really like them, but because they're smaller squares, we're not quite sure what to do with them. This book gives you tons and tons of ideas. And what's kind of cool with this book is it kind of gives you a cheater page of how to, um, what size you need to make your sashing. So sometimes you have a panel that's six and a half inches and you might have a square and a quilt that's eight and a half inches. So what size sashing do I need to put around that six and a half inch square to make it eight and a half inches? I bet you've had that problem before. I know we have at the shop. In fact, we just did that this morning and figured that out. So this is kind of a cheater page that helps you determine what size sashing you need to put around something to make it the size that you want. So really, really handy book on um, how to do different types of panels and ideas of different things to do with your panels. So in the Patrick Party section of our website, PP20, gets you 20% off this book. So lots of lots of different ideas. Super fun book. It is called Panel Play. <laughs> Panel Play. Panel Play. Okay. That is that book. Okay, so I did that, that, and that. Alrighty. So I'm going to come over to our little tulip table runner that is really cute. This was just a fun summer project doesn't take long to do it's really super cute so you have just a little bit this is yes paper piecing so for those of you who say you hate paper piecing it's okay this paper piecing is really fun goes really fast so you're only paper piecing six flowers and then you're appliquing the stems and the leaves so even if you don't like applique, it's not much applique. Or you need to learn how to do applique. This is a great project to learn how to do applique. And then, so it's very simple because you're only making these six flowers. You're adding the center. And then in the pattern, there is the template to do this kind of curved edge, which I think is really super cute. Super, super cute. And then added to that are these little yo-yos. So I did not, I know I did not put the smallest yo-yo on our, the Patrick Party section of the website, but we have kits for this. And I use the smallest yo-yo maker. There's also instructions in the pattern to make yo-yos without the yo-yo maker, but I can tell you it goes five times faster and they turn out much nicer with the little yo-yo makers. So, so I know a lot of you have yo-yo makers and haven't used them in a while, so dig those out. And this I thought was really nice because some people are afraid to do this little curve and that their binding on the little curved edge is not gonna turn out perfect. Well, that's okay, because you're putting a little yo-yo there. You could also get little buttons, put little buttons there instead of the yo-yos. That would be super cute. Just a really, really pretty, pretty table runner. It's nice and big. I, I don't know the size of it, because I, what, do we have the size on there? 16 by 52. So it's a really, really nice size and fun to do. Yes, so it's the one and a quarter inch yo-yo maker and it is in the Patchwork Party section of the website. So you can make the yo-yos too. So much fun. Oh, my skirt. <laughs> 
No, I did not. Ma oh, no. Those days, clothing, no, I'm not, well, I should never say never, but the days of making clothing for me are, are done. I don't know about you girls, but kind of done. Yeah. It is kind of tulip pinkish. Yeah, and it's one of those squirts, so it has a little, you know, the little shorts underneath, because I'm always climbing up ladders and stuff, and so a skirt doesn't always work here. But <laughs> we're crawling on the floor to pick up bobbins and stuff, so yeah, it's all stretchy. It's very comfy. Okie dokie. Oh, so it is, thank you for asking about my skirt. It's, for, it's brand new. <laughs> um, for our camping people, we have the little, um, let's just, what does it say? Let's just go. I put this on there. Just go. Just go. Little camper. And we have the kits for these. Super cute. Done with the Dan DiPaolo. Um, I can't remember what he calls this. Oh, the living the dream is the fabric line from Dan DiPaolo. Fun little applique project. I think I appliqued this all on here in an afternoon. So it was really fun to do. So just a really fun, fast project to put in your camper. I love it. I don't think we have any fishing panels right at this time. Somebody was asking for fishing panels. Um, we might have some fabric with fish on, but no panels with fish on. Yeah. Um, this is a very fun, fun, and interesting fabric that we picked up, that I picked up. I just thought it was really cool. My original idea was um, jackets, and let's see if I can pull one of these off of here without creating another um, display disaster. Here we go. Okay, so the fabric is kind of a double fabric, and it's all stitched together, and then this is what the back looks like. So it's kind of reversible. I first thought like jackets and vests we could do out of this. We'd have to get Sandy going on a jacket. But it's all kind of just scrappy and then hand quilted. So instead of jackets, we ended up making this cute little decorator pillow, which we thought was really fun. And just, it's about an 18 inch pillow, maybe a 20 inch pillow. And then we just kind of made a little flange on it to make the, um, to make the kind of ruffle, I was going to say, to make the border going around. Just kind of two pieces of fabric and then, and then stitched in and stuffed it. Ta-da! So really cute. And then we add, made a little, um, a little bag with, um, cork and one of the, um, Great zippers by the yard, and just lined it with some simple fabric on the inside, and off you go. So really fun, fun fabric to do really something very, very interesting. So great for bags. Look at how pretty this bag is. Very simple, just has a zipper on the top, some um, cork on the bottom, and it makes just a fabulous, fabulous little to little um, bag for the summer or winter or whenever. So we have some black and we have some other really fun colors of that. So those are really interesting fabrics. All double-sided and really fun to work with. So just for something different, kind of step out of your, out of your um, comfort zone a little bit with those to do that. Alrighty, I'm going to come back and come around the front. I'm going to grab this for one of my things. I don't trip over the fabric that I dumped over. All the way around the front. All righty. Um, we have starting on the 22nd our um, Sizzling Summer Series. So if you remember, I've kind of talked about this before. This is the first project. This is called the um, Fireworks Frenzy. This is the Table Runner. You can sign up for all five projects or just one or two or three of the projects. You don't have to do them all. Um, but um, your best value is if you purchase all of them. So um, the first project on the 22nd will be the Firework Frenzy. Then the second project that we were going to do is our little watermelon um, table, um, placemats. Really super cute. They are quilt as you go. And then we added the little the little seeds, the little watermelon seeds on the little placemats, and that makes them just so cute. 
So this was going to be the second project. However, <laughs> because our third project is um, this was the Celebrate Table Runner, which I don't have a sample of because the fabric didn't come. But right before Patrick Party tonight, I found out I found out that, that the fabric is um, sh has shipped. So we should have the fabric for this next week. So we'll do um, the um, Firework Frenzy first. And then instead of the watermelon, we'll do this one. Because then you can get it done in July and still have it out. Because I have my patriotic stuff out all of July. So then you'll still be able to get the red, white, and blue table runners done for maybe, probably not the 4th of July. But pretty close. Um, so that'll be cute. These, these are really cute. And here's a couple other patterns that we will, it's called um, Freedom Road, and it's Kansas Trouble Fabric. Look how cute this is. I can't wait to do this. I'll be doing that really soon, right after I get the table runner done, which won't take long, because that's going to be easy peasy. Look at how cute that is. And then this is done, these are done with a jelly roll. So one jelly roll will make what she calls, um, the blue one is blueberry jam. And the red one is strawberry jam. So she said you can make one blueberry and one strawberry out of one jelly roll, or you can make two of the red, tan, and blue runners. So we will have the jelly rolls for this as well when, um, when the fabric gets here very soon. Of course, I haven't seen, um, I saw the fabric coming, but I did not see the jelly rolls coming yet. So hopefully they will be here soon. Soon, soon, soon. So, um, we have this, this, and then don't forget that the other project, one of the other projects we're going to do are these cute little bags. Man, these are from Nantucket Summer from Moda, and each of your bags will have one of these cute little charms in your kit. So, oh yes, I have not put the, the um, Freedom Road um, patterns in the Patrick Party section yet. We're going to wait till the fabric comes and then, and then we'll get it all on there together well, along with the kits to make the projects. But this is, of course, one of the other projects using um, some of the two and a half inch squares from the Nantucket line. And your kits will have the zipper, everything that you need to make one of these little bags um, for the Sizzling Summer series. Then I'm going to come, oh, then we have these cute little, they're called Easy Grip Pliers. And some of you, yes, Sizzling Summer will be virtual. So it will be in store from 1 to 4, and then that evening we'll do it live on Facebook. So if you can't be here or you're far away, you can still participate, and there'll be a little class on how to do each project. Each um, There's like every other week starting June 22nd. Um, so the Easy Grip Pliers, really fun little, nice little um, gadget to have in your stash sitting by your sewing machine. A lot of times when your um, sewing, your thread breaks and it gets up into that little well, this is a great thing to kind of grab your thread and pull it through and then help you to um, thread your machine. <clears throat> it also pulls like little tubes through. Whoops, where are we going? I'm going to show it. Oh, you can't really see it? There you go. You can see it against your blue shirt. Oh, <laughs> blue against blue didn't work. Okay, so how about if I'm right here? So what I did is I made a little strip, a little tube that I have to turn. It might be a little strap. So I slid the strap all the way. I sewed my strap down the side, slid my strap all the way down, and then I grabbed the end of the strap with the end of the little pliers, and then all I need to do is slide it through. It's so simple, so fun, so simple. Oops, of course if the fabric's going to fray. <laughs> Come on. I just gotta, once you get it started, it's okay. Come on, we can do this. There we go. A little bit by little bit. There it comes. There she goes. Once you get it going. So I had grabbed that on the end once I slid it through. And now I'm just sliding it all the way open. And there's my little strap. Now I can go press it and... Put it on whatever I need. So another great use for this. And, you know, it's one of those pro these, these little gadgets that once you have it, you always find another use for it. No Joe Potter. 
You don't need that. <laughs> yep, I can already see his wheels are turning. Oh, I could use that. I know what I can use that for. So that's that. All right, I'm going to kind of come back around and show you some things from the back. So last month we, I'm back here. <laughs> last month we talked about Frosty Goes to Town and we had, I kind of showed you how to, the, how fun and easy these are going to be to do. And they are fun. So that's our first month of Frosty Goes to Town. If you remember, these kits are made and your pieces are already laser cut. So once you get your kit, all you have to do is pull your pieces out, lay them on your background, and iron them down, and start to sew. So they're super fun and easy, fast and easy to get started and do. And then if you remember, there's a little embellishment kit that has all of these little signs in. So the little thing that says latte here, the little Snowbucks Cafe, is all part of the embellishment kit that comes with your kit. So you can get this, pick it up and do it monthly, or you can buy it and get the whole kit all at once. So either way, whatever works best for you, it is available. So a lot of ladies have already picked it up and got started. No further discount because this is already discounted for you. So you get the bigger discount if you buy the entire kit all at once. So, but it still has a discount if you sign up to do it monthly. So the discount is already built in for you. Okie dokie. So really fun, fast, easy project. Well, I take that back. Fun, fast, yes, no, not fast. It'll take a while. It's fun. It's easy. It's not hard because you don't have to do all that tracing and cutting. All you have to do is peel it and stick it down and start to sew. So lots of fun. Yeah. But you want to get started now. So you get it done in time for Christmas. Christmas, Christmas. Okay. Um, our posh class is meeting next week, Thursday, from 10 to 4. And we are going to be working on our posh projects. And so everybody's got different ones that they're going to work on. And that's okay. Um, so we have the bunny, which I didn't pull around, but a lot of people had the bunny. We have the pumpkin. We have kits for all of these, and they are all in the patchwork, yeah, the patchwork party section of our website. I think so, too. Yeah. So we have the posh jack-o'-lantern. We have um, the posh gobble, which is the, um, the turkey. We have the posh pocus which is the witch. And then we have the Mr. and Mrs. Santa. So really cute. And in the Mr. I think in the Mr. and Mrs. Yes, in the Mr. and Mrs. I think you can see it more in the Mrs. But we used that glitter grunge fabric that we have that has just a little bit of silver in it. I think you can see that. It's so, so cute. So we still have to get our bindings on those. But those kits are ready to go. And you can work on any one of these that you want in the class. Or just pick up the kits and work on them at home. Really, really cute. So those, and then there will be, they are in the Patrick Party section. And there is also a, a snowman as well. But we are waiting for the snowman patterns to come in. And as soon as those are in, we will have the kits for those as well. Yeah, they're not ready yet because we're waiting for the patterns. There's a, there's a problem with getting the patterns, so we're working on that. Just a thing. It's just a thing. That's what happens sometimes. So I got a lovely email from the Creative Grid people. And it's that time again. I think it's been two years now. It's that time again for them to decide to raise the prices on Creative Grid rulers. We love them. We want them all. So here's what we're going to do. So the price goes up um, June 30th. So on the Patchwork Party section of the website are all of the creative rulers. I will, we're going to give you 20% off on any creative ruler that you want to get. I checked the stock on the rulers, and 
they are very well stocked. So if there's something that you order and we don't have it in stock, I will be able to get it very quickly. So unless it's one of those rare ones that you want that they just don't happen to have. Um, then you might have to wait a while. I know last time when we did this, some people had to wait months and months and months. So I kind of checked the stock, and their stock seemed to be really good at this point in time. So I was really happy about that. So whether we have it or not, it's on the Patchwork Party section of the website. What do you do? Put PP20 in, your, um, in the coupon code area when you check out, and you will get 20% off your Creative Grid rulers, and that will be um, this week so that... Um, you can get stock up before the prices go up because we'll be stocking up on them as well so that we get them so that we don't have to raise our prices right away we can hopefully keep our prices down on them for as long as we have stock and then the next time we have to order we'll have to the price will go up so um, that being said there are two new I know that you ladies are collecting these these are two new um, quilting rulers or quilting templates you might want to say we have I don't know where they're coming up with these names but this is the Archie and the Elvira and I'm going to flip these two around so you can see what the design that they make well they have kind of have some designs on the front but here are some other designs that they make on the back so these are two new ones that they had and I think they have just a one that's called smiley just came out as well and I don't I don't have that one I think it's on order I'm pretty sure I put it on order because I tried to order the new ones because I know you girls are collecting these and using them. I hope you're trying to use them. These are both um, quarter inch thick. So don't ask me if they're for high shank or low shank. I don't know. Don't ask me. They're quarter inch thick. That's all I can tell you. Okay, so these are the two new ones. So check out your stack of rulers. What, this is the time to order up and stock up, girls. 20% off for the next week. And then at the end of the month, if we have to order something that we don't have, the price will go up. Sorry about that. Just the way the world, isn't it? What can I say? It's just the way it is. Now, the other thing that I have to tell you about, I'm going to kind of move some things out of the way here, is a project that found its way, you know how this goes, found its way to um, the UFO section of my house. We have a walk-up attic, and the walk-up attic is kind of where UFOs go to die. So this project I started, because I, I had a sales slip in there, um, I started this project in 2018, and I got tired of it, and I didn't finish it. But now they have this really nifty thing, and you can finish your projects super quick. So this, in case you don't know what this is, this is a rug. <laughs> Unfinished objects. <laughs> okay. Joe did not know what a UFO was. Yes. I have a quick question about Posh. Posh. It's the 16th. Did I say the 16th? Did I say this coming Thursday? Oh, I meant this week Thursday. I don't know what I said, but I meant this week Thursday. Coming up. Thursday. 16th. Posh. 10 to 4. Posh. 16th. This Thursday. Yep, we're just making sure. Yep, it's this Thursday. This Thursday. This coming Thursday. The next time there's a Thursday... That's when the class is. <laughs> okay? Yeah, don't count on me. Okay, so this, this beautiful ball of um, French general fabric all sewed up into a little tube is a rug. It's very exciting. I had like half of it done. And, I, and it, if you've ever done one of these or thought about doing one of these, you need two 50-yard roll, two rolls of the two and a half inch jelly roll batting. So I had slowly gotten through one 50 yard roll and then I didn't realize that I needed two 50 yard rolls and I was tired <laughs> of doing it. 
<laughs> so I kind of, and I bought another roll, and then I looked at it, sat on my sewing table for a while, and then I decided I just don't want to do it. So I put it up in the attic. Put it up in the walk-up attic, and it sat there since 2018. And just not too long ago, I was looking, and Clover has this fabulous tool. So what you do when you do this, this is one entire jelly roll, 42 strips. So you need 100 yards, you need a double roll of this batting to match up with one jelly roll. One jelly roll will make a, a jelly roll rug. And I'll show you some of the patterns, but I'm shooting for this one, which is going to be 30 by 44. So that's what I'm hoping to make. But here's some other patterns that we have. These are all in the Patrick Party section of the website. Look at that um, round one. That's very cool. Then they have, I'm going to flip this around around. This is the picture, but then this is the shape. These are the shapes. So some of these are cool, like when you want to put it in front of a door, or you want to put it someplace where you just want half a rug kind of thing. And then I thought this was a really cute one. Doesn't that look, that looks really cool. Mm -hmm. So now, once I get this one done, so tomorrow I'm going to clean off my sewing table because you need a nice flat, big flat surface to sew on. Clean off my sewing table, I'm going to make this into a rug. After how many years now? Four years? It's going to be a rug. I'm so excited. So when I first started doing this, you um, layer, first, the first thing you do is sew your strips together like you're sewing a binding. So you definitely want to sew your strips with, on the diagonal when you sew them together. Don't sew them straight. It's easy to sew them straight, but you really want your seam to kind of be offset. If they're straight, then you're going to get kind of a big lump where your seam is. By doing it on the diagonal like that, when you fold it, it's not going to overlap itself. And it'll be much flatter, easier to sew through seam. So you will sew all 42 of those Jelly Roll pieces together, just like you were doing a Jelly Roll 1600 or, you know, one of those kinds of projects. All, the, all of them all together. So you can jumble them up. I kind of um, grouped my colors so that I would end up with something that looked more like this, where I would have, you know, because I've got all my reds together, all my creams together, all my taupes together, that kind of thing. So you can jumble them up any way you want however you like it. Then you will take your strip, this all I have left um, to do, and you're going to layer it right on top of your Jelly Roll strip. You can get right down here and show. Can you see white on white like that? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, then what I was doing and what everybody else does is they go, over to the sewing, or they go over to the ironing board and they iron a whole bunch of this. So you have to iron it in half. And then you have to do the thing where you fold half to the center and the other half to the center. And then I would go back and I would press it again to get my little tube. So you'd iron a whole bunch of this and then you'd go over to the sewing machine and then you'd sew close to the edge, very close to the edge with your sewing machine. And then once you've got all the way through this, then you can make your rug. Well, this took a lot of time, a lot. And I got tired, so I got put away. So this little t tool from Clover folds your fabric as you're sewing. So it has two pieces, and a lot of time, and it actually has two pieces and then another piece. Where'd it go? I just lost it. Here it is. Okay, but I found that it worked better without this little third piece for me. Um, but you can, there's a video online that you can watch, and um, there's a video online that you can watch and um, you can try it out for yourself and see how you like it. So what this larger piece does, so you put the larger piece, first you put the smaller piece onto, your, well actually you put the bigger piece on, then you're going to slide the smaller piece on. And this is actually two pieces. So right here this kind of clicks together. I don't know if Joe got that, but it kind of, this piece kind of slides in and clicks together. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, I have to get it clicked back in. There we go. Then it clicks back in. And what that does is it folds your two pieces to the center. You know, it folds your two edges to the center so you can kind of see how that's doing that mm -hmm. as you go along. 
I'm going to slide it back because then what you're going to do is you slide this piece and as you slide this piece and your front piece and you have this in your sewing machine it will it won't if it's not holding tight because I don't have it in my sewing there we go um, it will fold it as you pull it so I don't know if you guys have done one of these before but this is very fast now I can just sew this I sew a little bit slide this slide this sew a little bit more slide this slide this sew and slide just sew and slide instead of picking this up going over to the iron board trying to iron it all then getting it all lined back up again you just this just is like one fluid movement as you go through your sewing machine it is so cool and it made this job I did 50 feet of this in like an hour so it goes super fast so now I can get it done so I got went up in the attic dusted this off and we're ready to go so tomorrow I'm gonna make a rug I'm so excited I can't even wait it's so cool so give this a try if you if you haven't done a run of these rugs before they're a lot of fun um, make your own strips grab a jelly roll that you liked and you just don't know what to do with and try out one of these rugs because they are gonna be this is gonna be super fun I cannot wait and we might even do a class in fall on this but um, so let us know if you think you want a class on this later we've done classes on this years ago and now with this little tool oh it's gonna be so much fun to do what's you're called? really good what's the tool called I don't know it the, the magnificent jelly roll thing it is called um, fabric tool tube maker yeah not so exciting but you can kind of see the picture on the front of how it works in your machine and as they're sliding it through and like I said there's a video that goes along with this so um, you can see the video as well so that it's gonna be a lot of fun so we have the patterns we have the batting um, we probably have jelly rolls but you probably have some jelly rolls at home this is a great project for a jelly roll that you bought and now you look at it and you go huh, I kind of don't like this jelly roll but you like the colors because once you do this you can see that you don't see very much of the pattern of your jelly roll you see the colors so if you still like the colors in your jelly roll but you don't like the print and you don't want to make a quilt out of it a rug is a great thing to use that jelly roll for so give it a try it's gonna be a lot of fun I'm hoping to do another one I really want to do this little square one with a little X in it I think that's really cool so that'll be fun to do okay well we'll plan a class in fall um, pick up the stuff look it over check out your jelly rolls and we'll get we'll get some more classes going come August and September when fall comes around we're keeping it light this summer because everybody well sort of if you can afford to can travel in your cars um, so people are traveling so we have a few classes this summer but we'll do more come fall um, what else do I have to show you tonight anything did I miss anything which what thing this oh we've had these before these are our um, little sew and save mugs make great gifts inside each of these has a best press and two um, fat quarters so they make great gifts for your quilting friends or just for yourself hmm? there are no additional discounts because we already kind of gave you a special price on these so yeah those have a spe the, they're not in the patchwork party section of the website but we can throw some on there um, but they you, they don't get an extra discount sorry guys they're already discounted I didn't show the Christmas book but I will um, it's not in the patchwork party section but I can show this this is a three-yard quilt book and we have obviously had the three-yard quilt books before but we're gonna kind of preview this or highlight this in our um, holiday preview party which is going to be con, 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 July 28th here at the store from 3 to 5 30 we'll have fall Halloween Christmas all out for you to see lots of special projects a special discount um, treats and and um, some demonstrations and then at six o'clock we'll do a patchwork party or not patchwork party but um, a, a live presentation and show you some stuff and have a special um, sale for you then so our holiday preview party will be um, July 28th here at the store from 3 to 5 or 6 online 
So this is a book that they put together, Three Yard Projects Using Christmas Fabrics. So if you have some Christmas fabrics at home um, that you didn't know what to do with, it takes three yards to make these quilt projects. So fast, easy, um, three yard quilt projects to make. Uh, you can make a quilt for everybody in the family out of your Christmas fabrics. But we're also going to do some of these in fall fabrics. Oh, yes, we're going to make the Christmas three yard quilts out of some Halloween fabric. And we might even put some fall fabric and do some out of fall. I know, we're gonna go rogue. That is Riley Blake. Somebody's asking about that. Okay, so what we have left that hasn't fallen over, <laughs> these are called um, these are called dapple dot, and the great thing about these is that the um, dots on these, first of all, don't line up. They're not in a row. They're kind of scattered all over the fabrics. The colors are fabulous, and the, the dots on here are kind of different sizes. So they're a little bit. Some are bigger. Some are smaller. So it's like a polka dot, or it's like a little Swiss dot, but a little bit different. So lots of great colors on these. These are Riley Blake. So these are on the Patchwork Party section of our website. And then part of our display fill. And, and then there's the whoops one. The uh-ohs. <laughs> Uh-oh fabrics. But that, that, well, that way you can see these much better. These are the bright, happy colors. Um, so um, Riley Blake, uh, Dapple Dot. So these have been doing quite well. People have really responded well to these. Any other questions that we have? Anything that I, any questions that I can answer for you? Yeah, lots of colors. Lots of great colors in these. So great basic just to put with some of your projects that you're doing. Um, what else can I tell you about? I don't know. Watch your emails. Got lots of fun things happening this summer. Our shop hop goes on through. <laughs> Um, through June 30th, so make sure you get around to all the stores in our section and um, get those passports stamped. Anything, other questions that you ladies have? Otherwise, well, you guys have a great rest of the month. Hope to see you in here soon. Remember to follow us, like us, um, share us in the comment sections tonight so that your name gets put in for a gift card. And oh, she will. Jill will um, post the winners of the gift cards after we're finished tonight. So that will come up after after we're done. Yeah. Um, tomorrow is the name game, so that email will be coming out tonight. Don't ask me what the letter is because I don't remember. I go. I don't. I just don't. There's a one of the letters. One of the letters of the alphabet will be highlighted tomorrow. If you're a first Miller. Last name starts with that letter, you get 20% off your wholesale at the store. So please um, watch for that tonight. Um, other than that, other emails will be coming out, and I always got something going on. So until then, um, shop our Patchwork Party section of the website through this week, and have a fabulous, fabulous week. It's going to get hot, so it's going to be too hot to be outside, so you might as well stay in and sew. Or come to the shop and, and purchase some stuff do so. See you soon. Bye.